Okay, welcome to this video. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel to track your body weight uh, on a daily basis. And we're going to make a graph from this. And I'm going to show you how to do this uh, so you can interact with this spreadsheet on a daily basis. And the only way that you really get better at something, a, a spreadsheet or anything, math, physics, anything that you really uh, requires a lot of uh, technical thinking or technical know-how, is just to do it every day. And um, I use Microsoft Excel all the time in my life. I use it for various things. It could be for tracking my body weight. It could be, it could be for my expenses. It could be for stocks. It could be any, you know, many different things I use to track on Microsoft Excel. Uh, it could be presentations. It could. It, it, there's just so many different ways that you can use this. Uh, but the, the the reason I like a spreadsheet is is because it's so clear. You can see what's there in the, in the cells. You can type in the formulas and you can clearly see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, show you how to uh, basically track your, your body weight um, on a spreadsheet. Okay, so you can do this every day, and whether you're trying to lose weight or not, this will just give you a way to constantly work with Microsoft Excel on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's going to help you become much better at it. Okay, so whether your goal is just to maintain your body weight or to lose 20 pounds or whatever it is, one of the things I found in the past is that when I ever, whenever I wanted to lose weight, uh, writing it down every single day and then plotting it was essential. Okay, so I, I used to be involved with athletics heavily when I was younger, and I was always tracking my weight, and I would have to be down to my race weight on certain days and whatnot. So I'd always, I would always plot it out, and by plotting it out every single day, you make it real, and you're basically forcing yourself to see the graph. You're, you're forcing yourself to see your weight. Um, so. Anyway, this is just you know a way to to do it on Excel. So I'm going to begin by showing you how to do this. So here's our spreadsheet, our typical spreadsheet. We have our columns here, we have our rows down here, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create what's called a header cell. So the first cell I'm going to create is this is an this is cell A1. So a cell is a combination of a row and a column, right? So every cell has its own specific name. So this is uh, this is cell A1. So you see the A here and then the row here. If you look up here, you can see that it actually has a name A1. If I click anywhere in here, like out here, it says it says G13, right? You see that, right? So what you can do is you can you can leave those the name that whatever they're called, or you can actually type in a personal name for them, which we'll talk about later. You could actually create that as a variable to use if you want to do a calculation. So the first header row that I want to write here is what I want to do is I want to create the day of the week. So I'm going to write in the word day, D-A-Y. And over here I'm going to write date. And I'm putting them in all caps and I'm putting them in bold just so you can see them. And then over here I'm going to put in here weight, your body weight. Okay, just like this. So these are going to be my headers. So we're going to see later on that if we want to sort data or work with data, uh, this is how we do it. We, we have to have a header row. Otherwise, it's going to assume that you know it can just it can assume that the top row of data is your first row. But it's better to have a header date, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start here with the date, and today's date is October the seventh, two thousand and twelve. So I'm going to type in here ten seven, two thousand and twelve. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go over here to the day, and the day of the week, whatever it is. Today is Sunday. I'm not going to retype that ten seven. I'm going to reference that cell. It's pretty easy. So let me show you what I mean by that. In other words, I'm going to tell this cell right here when I click into it. I want I want it to equal. I want that value to equal B2. Whatever's in B2, I want it to equal that, right? Now notice when I typed in B2, this little blue box appeared here, right? You don't really have to do anything after this point. You just hit enter, and what what it's going to do is it's going to show you. All right, take two. All right, what I'm going to do over here now is I'm going to go over to where it says day, and I'm going to reference cell B2. So I'm going to click cell A2 here, and I'm going to type in equals B2. So what am I doing? I'm referencing B2 over here. Okay. So I'm basically saying I want A2 to be exactly what B2 is. So it's just going to copy it. So when I hit enter, it's going to say 10-7-2012, right? Okay, so that's the first thing I want to do with this. So I did the date, 
and then I did the day. But I wanted to show the day of the week. I wanted to show like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever it is. I wanted to show that. So what I'm going to do is I have to change the formatting of this. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to highlight this whole column here, column A, and I'm going to right click that. Okay, and I'm going to go over here to where it says Format Cells, and I'm going to click that. Now notice the first thing it takes me to. It might have gone up to General, but it probably took you to Date. These are all the different ways I can display that date. So if I click down, you can see that it can display them as the full month and the year. It can display it as the month, the, the month, the day, the year, and the time. All these different things. But you just notice here that none of these show the day of the week, right? None of them show Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right? Okay. So what we need to do with this is we need to create our own format. Okay. So I'm going to go down to where it says Custom right here. And I'm going to scroll down here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own format. What I'm going to do is whatever this garbage is in here, I want you to highlight that and I want you to delete it. And we're going to type in the letter D for day. And what's going to happen is you're going to st there's different ways that you can format this. Okay. Now we're going to type three D's in, and that will give us the day of the week as like sun S U N or M O N. So when I hit enter here on the three D's, what you're going to see if you look over here, look over at where it says A2, when I click OK, notice it says Sunday now, S-U-N. You see that, Sunday? So maybe you want to have the full day instead of S-U-N. So you'll go back over to Custom and you add another D to that, okay? So it's four Ds and now it's going to have this, the, the whole word Sunday, okay? So this is, this is our day, this is our date, okay? And then we'll put our weight here. So today is Sunday. And remember, in this cell is referencing whatever was in B2, okay? And it's just it's just displaying the date in a different way to you. So you're, you're going to see it as the day, and this is going to be the, displayed as the date, okay? But they're linked together, right? A2 comes from B2, okay? And I'm going to start out here by having my my introductory weight, whatever your body weight is. I mean, if you're a guy, maybe you weigh 210 pounds and you want to get down to 180 or whatever whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'll put a weight in here just to start out with. I'll put, let's just say 210. Let's say that this is a guy trying to lose some weight. Okay, so 210. And we're starting out on this day here and this date. Okay, so in the morning I wake up, I come in here and I write down my date, my weight here on this day at the same time every day. And again, my experience has been in the past when I've, when I've had to lose weight or trim down for an event, that the only way that, I, that it ever worked for me personally was to write it down every day and see the graph that's the only way you're going to make it real. You have to kind of do this every day. Now, this doesn't mean you weigh yourself four or five times a day, but it just means once every day you write it down and then you're going to plot it on a graph. And we're going to be able to see the graph in a minute. The graph's going to tell us a lot of information about your body weight. So we're just getting started here with how to enter the information. Make sure that you go ahead and, and save this file, by the way, once you're starting. You might want to go over and, and save it uh, just so you don't lose your work as, you, as you're moving through this. So what happens on the next day? What, what happens? Do you have to keep writing the date every day like this? Well, fortunately, Excel makes it easy for us to duplicate cell values and create what's called a fill function. So I'm going to highlight here where it says A2, and I'm going to select across to B2. Now notice there's a little white cross here. You see the little cross here on the cursor? It's white. When it goes over here, it becomes a black cross. Okay, And that's important because that means we're going to do a fill function. So I want you to go over where it has the black cross click it, hold it down, I'm holding down the left click on the mouse, and start to drag it down. Now notice, as I drag it down, you see this little window here says 10-9, 10-10, 10-11, 10-12. It's going to know right away with a date to start counting forward. So it's going to add a day for you. It's pretty cool, right? You don't have to keep typing that. So you keep dragging it down. You say you're going to drag it down to like 10-21. Let's just say, I don't know, let's go to Halloween. Halloween, all the way down here, 10-31. Now when I let go, when I let go of the mouse, what will happen is you'll see in column B it will have all the dates and column A will have all the days. So I let go and right there you see it. You see them? Now you might see that there is, there's these hash marks here. When you, when you, sometimes you see the dates, sometimes you don't. All that that means is that the column is too narrow to display the data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these columns a little bit wider. So column A, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag up here. You see when I have this this white cross comes up here and then it has that a line with the two arrows, the black line with the two arrows going across. That just means it's to readjust the size of the column. So I'm going to click this with my left mouse, click it, hold it down, and just drag it over a little bit so now I can see all the days, right? 
and I'm going to go over to the same thing on column B between B and C. I'm going to click here and notice the width at the top here changes to just enough so I can see all of the dates. Okay, so now we've, we're definitely getting some important uh, information here that we can start filling in. So all that I did was I took that first date and I filled it down and then on column B you can clearly see that that is the date. Now remember column A, all that it did was say I'm going to be the same as B3, right? So it says equals B3 and we formatted that to be a day. So now we're starting to get set up to where we can actually start to enter our body weight on a daily basis and then eventually what we're going to do is we're going to make a graph of that. Alright, so that's it for this video. Check back on the next video to show you how to fill in your weight and how to begin to make our graph.